Hi, welcome to Purchase Order Processing in Dynamics Nav. Purchase Order Processing allows you to create and view purchase orders. The process also represents an agreement with a vendor to purchase certain items at a certain price for delivery on a specific date. Let's have a look at how we can manage purchase orders. You'll notice that this diagram shares a number of similarities with the process of sales order management, which we've discussed in a previous video. In most cases, as you'll see here, the purchase order is the central purchase document, but a purchase process can also start from a quote or a blanket order. So if we enter a purchase quote or a blanket order, we can convert it to an order and then start posting. Once we have posted the receipt, we can get a posted receipt document and the updates of an item. So our inventory will increase because the items are received. We will also post the invoice, which will result in a posted invoice and update the chart of accounts and the vendor cards. We will then need to pay the vendor. After we issue the payment, the vendor will be updated and at the same time, the chart of accounts will be updated. Now let's have a look at the system to see the different components. I'll first start off with a purchasing quote. A purchasing quote enables us to enter multiple quotes from different vendors in the system and then click on the Make Order button. So to do this, I'll search for Purchase Quotes. And then I'll create a new one. For Buy From Vendor Number, I'll put in Vendor Number 10,000 for London Postmaster. For type, I'll put in an item. And for item number, I'll put in item number 1896S for the Athens desk. And then I'll put in that I would want 15 pieces. So once we've done all these, we can select make order in the ribbon. So if I now convert to an order, which I can do by clicking on yes, you will see that a quote has been converted to a new purchase order and that the quote is now removed from the system. Just as we can make agreements with customers on a number of items that they will purchase on a specific period, we can do the same with vendors, where we can make an agreement or where we will give our commitment to purchase a number of items over a specific time period. I can do this by entering a blanket purchase order. So I'll search for that. And then I'll create a new one. So for buy from vendor number, I'll put in vendor number 10,000 for London Postmaster. For type, I'll put in an item. And for the number and description, I'll note that I would want this to be a blanket order for wooden doors. And then I would put in that I would want 50 pieces. In return for purchasing 50 pieces of the wooden door, we are going to get a 5% discount. So I'll put that here in the line discount. As you'll see, the line amount excluding tax changed to reflect the discount. So now we can start receiving these doors. Suppose that on a specific date, we need the first batch of doors. I could enter the quantity to receive is 30 because now we would need 30 doors. So I'll just change from 50 to 30. And then I'll, I'll enter in the order date. So for example, January 31st, 2016. And then I'll click on the make order button in the ribbon. And now the system will create the first order based on the blanket order. 
Then I can go into the line tab and select orders to retrieve the order that I just created. Now I'll select show document. And from here, you can see that we have a regular purchase order. So purchase order of wooden doors with a quantity of 30 that we can now start processing. And once we have processed the order and posted the shipment, and now I'm gonna go back into the blanket order. So now I'll go back into my blanket purchase order. As you'll see, the blanket order is updated and now there are 30 wooden doors received and there's still 20 to receive at a later time. Now let's look at how we can work with purchase orders. So I'll just search for that. And I'll select an example of an open purchase order. There are two steps in which we can post purchase orders. The first one is posting the receipts. So I'll just hover over here in the ribbon and select post and pick receive. Doing this will post the reception separately from the invoice. After this is done, I can select post and then I'll select invoice. To check back on this, I can search for my posted purchase invoices. So I'll just search for that. And then I'll just scroll here to the bottom. And here you can see this is the posted purchase invoice that we just did. You can create a copy of this invoice to print or email by selecting print in the ribbon. I'll select as a PDF. And here you can see our purchase invoice. And that concludes an overview of how we can process and manage purchase orders in Dynamics Nav. Thanks for watching.